crew to introduce you today for our Cooking with Merlin episode six. Episode six. Episode six. So I'll get right to it. We got some folks in from my hometown. You guys are Winnipeggers, right? Yes, I am. Uh, he lived there for a minute. Right oh. I've, li I've lived in Winnipeg. Yeah. Okay, he aspires okay. to travel there. Nice, nice. Well, introduce yourselves, guys, to the audience. I mean, I'm sure the cannabis community probably knows you and your battle that you've got going on right now, but yeah, give, give a little introduction. You want to start, Simon, or should I lead her off? No, you go ahead. All right. Hey, everybody, this is the Tovergrown team. We got the tech wizard, camera wizard, control wizard. Um, we've been, we've been launched, uh, we launched a lawsuit against the Manitoba government a year and a half ago. And, uh, that's a standing ovation. And we were, Can you say that one more time? Oh, it's just it's so nice to say. We launched? We launched a lawsuit <laughs> against the Manitoba government a year and a half ago. Beautiful. We, uh, we also got jo asked to join the Quebec lawsuit. So we're, <laughs> we're fighting uh, two provincial governments at once. And uh, these are my these are my boys who are helping out in the, in the background and doing a big difference. So, Aaron? Yep. So I've done a lot of the photos and videos and different marketing strategies and stuff like that. And, Lately, we've been making lots of videos, just like hilarious shit, trying to get comedic with it. So awesome, lighting the vibe, right? Yeah, man, that's exactly it. And Simon, I know you. We go back yeah, a little so ways, not ways. super far, but yeah, yeah. you're um, doing your. I'm just helping him on the tech side of it. Right. It's, it's, I don't know what I can and can't, so I'm just. He's I'm he's, he's, he's understating his help. Yeah, as he, Simon he's likes our to hacker. Do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. I'm super glad to have you guys all in here. I saw you guys were uh, raging with Remo the other day. That must have been fun. That was intense. Yeah. I think all three of us were the highest we've ever been. Ever. Yeah. I think all four of you. Yes. I, last week cooking was was an episode. Was, uh... He couldn't smoke the joints fast enough. So we also just raged hard with with Remo. So it was great to see you guys in that zone. I was like, oh, we're gonna have all sorts of things to talk about just in regards to. The raging that we all did with with Ramo, and for those of you that obviously haven't hung out with Ramo but have watched his videos, you still know uh, Ramo loves to go hard. He is a true cannabis <laughs> warrior, I will say. Warrior. You know, a true cannabis warrior, a cannabis aficionado, uh, a true lover of the plant on every level. And I'm pretty stoked that uh, these guys brought me the Mega Stoner Super High album, which is Ramo's new. I guess kind of metal yeah, band. Yeah, metal band. This is his, his new metal band. Brixton's are all over you, hey? Yeah. Uh, just so everyone knows, there's a, there's a little velociraptor under the table. Yeah. Come here, man. Chew, just, chewing on you guys? Yeah, it's so cute. That's awesome. Well, yeah, we're going to cook some food today. Do you guys want to tell them, you want to tell them Merlin, what to, is on yeah. the recipe? Well, it's a rainy day, so I thought we'd do a soup. We're going to do some spring rolls and some ramen. Beautiful. Yeah. It's awesome. It would warm me up on it. On a cold, rainy day, and the winter is coming. Too. It's dumping up in Whistler. So. Oh yeah, major dumping. It's been raining here like crazy. In fact, I did get my drone resorted. It was kind of down. The battery died uh, on my um, Phantom Four, um, so I've got that battery replaced. And every day that we filmed this for the last like two or three cooking with Merlins, I thought if the rain ends, I just, I'll shoot the drone out for a little visual because. Part of this episode, in my opinion, that's the magic is, is the view. And today, it's not really there. You can't mm -hmm. even see the mountains. It's just some trees and some, yeah. some, some fog. Mm -hmm. But it is pretty beautiful uh, when you can see it. So eventually, we're going to get that drone up there. And we'll get some uh, drone footage cut into these videos. But in the meantime, quick little session. Smoke some joints. Light some bowls. Um, get iry, And then get into the kitchen. Today, Merlin has a lot of sous chefs. You're going to be on the camera, right? Um, I can film some, yeah. You're gonna be, no, I mean for your own, like, content. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get stuff. some stuff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then, so you guys are probably gonna be in sous chef uh, position from, uh, <laughs> although yeah. I'm guessing 
Merlin's probably going to need one of you to do to serve him dabs and joints. Yeah. So probably one of you will get that job. Right? That's right. Simon's normal job when he's in my nice. my table as well. He put he put Remo to work the other day, and and it took him only about ten minutes to realize maybe I should get Remo to be rolling joints for him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It really so, was a good idea. Not it was that he a good move. He was doing great. No, he did with, great. He yeah, made the like, meat hummus. It was definitely not a shot against Remo. He did great in the work that he was doing. But when he said, "What was his quote? I can burn water." When you said that, I, I felt a little bit of the confidence uh, you rode out of Merlin's soul. Yeah. <laughs> so we put him on joint. Let's uh, switch this guy out. Yeah, pretty pretty simple simple to me. When I'm sitting beside Merlin, uh, I do the best I can to stay out of his way. Right. Yeah. He moves like fire. Yeah. He moves like fire. Yeah. Dude, you should I'm try holding like, a camera on the guy. I couldn't imagine. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the, the wide angle lens helps. Because if I had the normal <laughs> camera lens that this camera has, I, I'd have to like stand in the back corner. Uh, over by the skateboard deck that some of you have noticed. Maybe we'll see if any of you others notice the skateboard deck this episode. In the meantime, it's time for a dab. Please, absolutely. Absolutely. If anyone can see this stuff is ridiculous, what is this, Marcus? That is some forum cut cookies from Ethos. It is white. And it's actually was produced and grown by Concentrated X in Ontario. So shout out to Concentrated X for keeping me in stash. Hopefully with the work that I've signed up for with Merlin and his company, hopefully this year we're going to get that Bubble Man brand out to you guys and we'll have some products that uh, are deserving to be on the brand. Such a difficult thing to create exceptional quality products in the regulatory framework. It really is a challenge. A lot of work, a lot of hurdles, but we're there. We're, we're going to do it. It still beats having a gun put in your face and having your kids taken away and your dog shot, in my opinion. <laughs> it's not much stress, to be honest, compared in the, in the, in the space. I mean, no. Exactly. Braxton's I think a lot of people excited about it. Yeah, yeah Braxton's totally here, buddy. excited about it. Okay. Hey, thank you, sir. I'll give you some love. I'll give you... Anyways, one of you guys want to dab as well? I get blow on my mind right now. I will, uh... something like that before. That is some... It's kind of like a, um... Are you familiar with falling film or rising film evaporators? Nope. Nope. Well, this is kind of what that's based on. It's based on pulling the resin up into this part of the... Not letting the dab just be taken on the pan, but getting it pulled up into this little tube that's also heated up. And then the little marble inside is just moving it around to make sure that it's painting and touching as much of that surface area as possible. This is to reduce uh, oxygen as well as this. So it makes it that tighter little pull. Yeah, you know, shout out to Nephilim Glass because basically... I'm not a dad, I've never done that. Well, except maybe you can pull it off. And the Turf Slurper really only works with these three components, so... I kind of needed to get that, and luckily for me, the <laughs> Nephilim Glass lined me up. Did you get one? <coughs> oh my goodness. Full dunk. Oh, that's tasty. Is this something you pass around? <coughs> Whoa. Hey, watch out for Pickle Rick. That is a Pickle Rick uh, carburetor oh cap. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> what temperature did you hit that at, or do you not know? Just a cold start in it? It was a cold start, yeah. I love to know my temperature. <coughs> Wow. So I have a little thermometer that gives me an accurate readout on how hot my banger is. I could imagine it would be. How hot was it? <laughs> well, it's now, it's oh. like 350. I had it pretty low well, though. Like I did like eight five. seconds. No, 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 I'm, I'm, that's, I think that's like the fourth time in my life I've well, Next time you do a so. cold start, let me know. <laughs> yeah, we should find oh, out. Yeah. It. Well, it sounds like you got a good one. <laughs> it tasted wonderful. Uh, oh, so I'm lemony. I'm gonna... <laughs> wow. Well, I'm one and done. You guys want one? Yes, please. Oh, love, love your dog. He, he loves you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> I, look at that. It's boiling. Let's just check it out. Yeah, where's it at? 320, 398, 400 degrees. That's you know, it degrees. seems ridiculous, but if you dab a lot, knowing the temperature of the banger <laughs> and the amount of time that you heat oh, it up, you're ready to see some goofiness? it changes yeah, from banger to banger, mm -hmm. depending on the thickness, the type of material that it's made out so of. So what's the what, what, yeah, what, what, what are aiming for? Well, everyone's different. Okay. <laughs> so like, for instance, people that really like, if you want to take the rocket ship to the moon, a warmer or hotter temperature will get you there. Mm -hmm. um, anyone that's accidentally <laughs> taken a hot dab knows that. 
Exactly. But that didn't seem too hot. No. No, that was a low time. No, I just, I'm just a pussy. We're just total rookies. <laughs> well, or, here's the question. Do <laughs> yeah. you smoke oh, cigarettes? <laughs> do you smoke you cigarettes? I haven't. I have. I have. You have. Recently. That's oh, what I mean. Okay. I, I normally yeah. have to stop doing Today? That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today? Yeah. Cigarettes can have an effect on your lungs for certain. Right, right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Because, um, I mean, so can a good dab. It can get you caught from whether you're a super a, hot dad. Oh, oh my god, god dude. Oh. Okay. Here we go. So you're you're last, my friend. You <laughs> like, <laughs> around. You like yeah. elephants, eh, Merlin? What? I'm good. You like man. elephants? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, but I'm straight. Who doesn't bro. like it? I don't want to dab. No. Well, it's sitting there for the next one. That's the yeah. beauty of, of you, uh, that's Colts. That's for you all. You can ask, bro. You can ask. You can ask. All right, well, we're going to get in here. As you can see, we're all baked and uh, off on our own tangents. So we're going to get into the kitchen, make some food, and uh, enjoy this high. Yeah. And then eat the food, right? Awesome. Yes. Woo! All right, we're here with Merlin. Let's see if he's gonna. his intro will be as stony as the last episode. <laughs> yeah, it was... <laughs> We were pretty baked last time. Uh, I don't think that we can top that one, but uh, today we'll try and put together some... We can top it the next time we have Remo. We definitely can. Uh, <laughs> so we got the guys from Toba Grown here as well. Awesome. We're sous chef with us. Absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. And we're going to make some ramen and some spring rolls with a peanut butter sauce. So, Jesse, yeah. you're going to help me out of here. Let's He'll do, do the spring rolls. I'll do the first one and then show you exactly what to do. Ooh. And then you can roll the rest. Should I get some gloves off? Yeah, sure. It's like kind of like rolling doobies, to be honest. Oh. Nice. <laughs> it's kind of like rolling doobies. It is. Are you saying you don't have good doobie rolling They're veggie skills? Doobies. I'll, I'll try to put it into a vaporizer and you'll be Oh, oh nice. Is that how you hit more often than not? So the rice paper. Or so now, yeah. Okay. Just put it into a plate with some water. Oh, there. shit. Rice paper into a plate with some water. Totally just layers. Just let it soak for a second. All right. And then we'll get yours going once you get your gloves on. We have everything prepared pretty much here already. We got some cilantro, some sprouts, some red pepper, cucumber, some cooked uh, tofu with ginger and uh, soy sauce and garlic. Uh, that's going to be good with the carrots and a bit of uh, avocado, some chives. Nice. So you don't want to go too yeah, long or these yeah. things get... Uh, some backstory, Merlin and I used to work together, and I actually lived in this house for about four or five nights. Right when I moved in, yeah. Right when you moved in. It's true. And there was lots of weed smoke then, too. So. At the yes. same time, we'll get it going for the ramen, we'll get the onions at the... Uh... A little onion. Yeah, man. Ooh! And then we'll get some salt and pepper. Look at these, these creeps over here. Get them in the shot. <laughs> hey, what's going on over here, guys? Hey, hey, what's going on? What's, 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 uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's, uh, he's got good art, right? Yeah, I was checking all the decks out on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you I check that one out up there? Shop. Way back when in Quebec. So, oh, cool. You want to put another one in there? Yeah, I'm on it. And then I'll show you how to do this. So you're just hydrating these rice yeah, paper just hydrating wraps? hydrating a little bit. And then we get a little bit of carrot in there. That was just Subway style? Subway style, exactly. A little bit of avocado. You taking this down, Jesse, or what? Yeah, mentally. A little bit of onions. Trap. Simon knows how good I roll. A little bit of, there you go. A little bit of cucumber in there. I don't think Ooh. you should roll that and roll that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen him roll a jug? <laughs> And then we'll put a little... It might not look good, but, it, but it'll work. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it'll look good, but it'll work. Fold any of your sides there to wrap it up. It's the name of my uh, contracting company. And just tuck it in just like your doobies. Tuck it in just like your doobies. Yeah. And there you go. Well, prepare to be amazed. Perfect spring roll. So you try one there too. Prepare well, to going, be we'll amazed. Look at all this stuff. You got some eggs mm. over here. You got some newies. Yeah, we got all the noodles ready. Tofu. Some tofu will reheat. I had already done. And while we're doing that, let's get this broth going. This is the most important part of the ramen. Oh yes, the ramen broth. Exactly. Favorite ramen spot in Vancouver? Ooh. 
Jin, I like Jin Ya. It's pretty oh, good. Oh, Jin Ya is baller. Yeah, a little bit of grape seed oil in there. Big fan of the uh, neutral. <laughs> Some ginger to start it out. <laughs> this is awesome. Strong, strong start in the background there. Yeah, yeah. just keep camera over, over there. <laughs> what, what's happening over there? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. That's going good. Yeah, it's all good. All right. A little ginger. Oh yeah, it'll flavor up that oil really nice. The grapeseed oil. <laughs> Smells so good. Oh my goodness, yeah. Big fan of the ginger myself, so. You get a little garlic in there too. Yeah, it's like a big vapor rub when you put the ginger in there, right? Oh yeah. As these oh, onions come oh, too. Let's turn that heat up. We're gonna we're gonna do onions and mushrooms for inside the uh, the ramen soup. Oh nice. Yeah. Ramen soup. Toba grown. Roll Toba grown. So hey Jesse, how about you speak springs. a little bit about what you're doing, like as you're so as you're your first your first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Perfection. Okay. So uh, Toba grown was started in April 2020. So this April will be two years. It's a lawsuit against the Manitoba government's ban on homegrown cannabis. I, I remember when the ban first came into place in 2018. I was working for with Merlin at the time and um, really, really annoyed me, but I wasn't at the time personally affected by it because I didn't have a place where I could grow and was traveling for work. But when COVID uh, came around and our governments instructed us to find um, creative and constructive projects to work on during lockdown, I uh, started researching how I could launch this lawsuit and went shopping for lawyers and launched the initial lawsuit in August after about four and a half months of diligence and um, shopping through lawyers. Uh, which was a lot of fun in itself. And do you want to tell us who you ended up with? Yeah, we started with MLT Aikens. They, they're a massive firm across uh, Western Canada, and they built a very strong foundation in a lot of research in what we were doing. I then transitioned to uh, Daniel Tornopinski, which is a smaller uh, single lawyer, just to control the, the legal bills, because obviously the big firm, you pay more. Mm -hmm. and it was just us initially uh, funding this. And yeah, it's, um, it's been a learning curve and a half, and I'm really happy with the amount of community support we have behind it. Nice. So. Dude, dude, talk about being a local hero when that lawsuit goes through and you win the rights for all Manitobas, Manitobans to grow in their plants. Yeah, that's going to be dope. Like, dude. Like, that's a right that we all earned here that it should happen in legalization, and you're, you're, you know, it's the last bit of activism left onto the cannabis market. So. The last fight <laughs> and the, the premier who was recently let um, appointed in Manitoba is actually the one who wrote the ban and she's publicly stated she will defend it. So looking like it'll be a, a fight till the end, which probably is a year and a half from now until... Oh my God, she's so on the wrong side of history. <laughs> she doesn't next, even know it. Your next fight should be to not tax us to death trying to sell cannabis. <laughs> Toba <laughs> tax. <laughs> Toba, Manitoba is actually the best tax in Canada as far as excise, but... The rest of the country will get slaughtered. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's crazy, man. That's great to hear. And uh, so where can people go and uh, read about this and support this? So si Simon, actually, he met earlier. He's built an awesome website, like tobagrown.ca and .com. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on all the social media platform forms under Tobagrown. Tobagrown. Aaron's done some amazing uh, footage for us. You see a lot of the funny videos and high quality stuff next to that guy right there. That's awesome. And we got some team members who aren't here, but who are drooling over the footage, watching us eat this delicious food. Yeah. And full disclosure, I'm 11 out of 10 baked right now. Uh, Cooking, cooking food. So. That's how it should be. <laughs> right on. Right on subtle cloud in this house. <laughs> That's what's up. That's how we do it here on uh, Getting Baked with Merlin. I mean, Getting Cooked with Merlin. I mean, Cooking with Merlin. I mean, Merlin's cooked. I like we should switch it to Getting Cooked with Merlin. <laughs> yeah, that might have to be it. You are... You are There's, there goes the mushrooms. We put some shiitake mushrooms in there. Oh, yeah. We're just going to level them out and let them grill. Get that water out. Make sure it seals in. Oh. 
Beautiful. See, only on Cooking with Merlin can you go from like a full-blown federal lawsuit to why we put the mushrooms in with the onions and how they're going to affect the broth. That's uh, a little bit of that soup. And we're back to federal lawsuit. <laughs> exactly. Well, man, everyone. I mean, Marcus, you're from you're from Manitoba, and like you, you tell me, you were start you started the first activism for hemp in Manitoba. Well, we were. We were the, yeah, in Manitoba, we were probably the first, and it was just like, it was like Martin and Alex and Neil and John, these guys were all kind of the core group, but then there were other people from the University of Manitoba who started a hemp group that were a part of it, and other activists that came into play, like, you know, uh, Paul DeFelice and, and Alan uh, Middlemiss uh, from Nelson, from the Kootenays, the Holy Smokes guys. So lots of people were a part of it, for sure, but yeah, I, f I feel lucky enough to be able to say that we got that license for that first five-acre experimental field in 1995, and driving my Volkswagen van through that hemp field wow. was uh, in, a, in a way, it was, that was surreal. like the first cannabis activism in Manitoba, really. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. In there the might have been people in the 70s and yeah. the 60s, because that, that I would have missed that boat and not been, you know, like... I remember the rock shop used to sell pipes and kind of like different kind of weed positive things, which I guess in a sense during well, Prohibition, that, way, yeah. that would still be part of it, yeah. kind of a bit of activism, you know, where you're like, hey, you're not We're supposed to... We're selling stuff to smoke, smoke cannabis, cannabis, but... Exactly. <laughs> it's not me. Exactly. What I'm putting in here is some red miso paste. Oh, beautiful organic miso. Yeah, it's delicious. A red type. I love this stuff. Beautiful. I'm going to put a, a nice few tablespoons in there. I'll remember to add the recipe in for last week's too as well. I'm also going to add in a little bit of this dashi paste that I got. Dashi paste? Yeah. You ever had this before? Get out of here. I don't know if I have. It's another... Oh, you guys are on a mission? I was going to give you a job. I'm totally joking. I was totally joking. I heard you guys' conversation, so I was like... we got to run through the car. Go get your Coronas, but not the Corona. The Coronas. The so it's similar to miso. <laughs> oh, it is miso, actually. I would it's love just another Corona. Corona. Super looks good. tasty. Corona, that's what I'm calling. Looks good, looks good. Cooking with milk. You got more <laughs> rice kicking around Cook the <laughs> Oh, there's like these, you mean? Not rice, sorry, carrots. Oh. Oh, carrots. we'll have to grate up yeah. some more. How many you got cut done there? You'll have four done? I'll have four done. Okay, I guess we'll have to straight up some more carrots here. Straight them up. As this heats up, this should start to kind of turn into a broth a little bit. This is the rolling here. The rolling. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. Cold, but Can you guess which one perfect. is not mine? You know what? No, they all look pretty darn good, man. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> I know. You know what? I bet you, you did it better than I could have. Let's find out. Why, you want me to roll that one? Dun, dun. Roll the next one. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Shoot. I forgot the most important part. A little avocado. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, I'm going to screw up this roll now that the camera's on. All the pressure's on. You got this, man. Oh, yeah. I'm going to screw it up. Just think of this as your lawsuit. Yeah, you're rolling up your you lawsuit. Just have to focus. <laughs> just kidding. You just have to focus on it and make sure you execute. I mean, everyone can smoke weed everywhere that they grew in their backyard. Woo! Absolutely. Dude, and Winnipeggers will. Definitely they will. Like, and the Quebecois. And the Quebecois, yeah, they're, uh, yeah, they're in dad, it too, eh? Yeah, they do it anyway. Of course <laughs> Quebec did that. That's, that one's for you, Simon. Yeah. I mean, they may have turned the law around in Quebec, but Quebecers act like it's still it's still in place. Like, right. You know, like, Port just allowed. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. How could it not be? I've been doing it since 1976. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's 400, not four. But <laughs> <laughs> that's the good old Quebec mentality. Yeah. Uh, Someone Simon, else want to help me out? Simon's here? jumping in. Look at this guy. He's ready. Jumping in. He's ready to go. Yeah. Okay. I need you to crack. You almost the eggs. took his shirt off. Crack <laughs> the eggs. Yeah. Crack the eggs. Yeah. You know, get the skins off. Or uh, shells. I like my eggs with shells. Right. Looks good. I just like my egg shells without egg. 
<laughs> can you uh, can you do that? Just use eggshells yeah. for one. Just eggshells on yours? That'd be delicious, oh. eh? And then I guess we'll make the peanut <laughs> sauce delicious. while we're waiting for these to finish. Right, you're gonna do a little uh, dash of uh, cilantro. <laughs> a little dash. Of cilantro <laughs> bay. First. Yeah, sure. And you can you have to wash them off after anyway. So uh, for the peanut sauce, we will do peanut butter, of course. Ah, oh, just the ice cream. Yes, just. Just peanut butter. So I'm gonna get a couple spoons of that in there. Yep, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. And then some coconut milk. Oh shit. Voila. Get that right, in there. Now Just I have a little can of that. Now you're in. Now we're gonna put a little bit of soy sauce in there. A little bit of soy sauce in there. Sriracha. Ooh, give it a little bite. A little bit of garlic. No. <laughs> a little bit of lime juice. Looking good. Yeah. And then we're going to put a little bit of this as well. And which one's that now? A little bit of sesame oil. Just a little shot of sesame oil, huh? In there. And then a little bit of miso as well. Tasty in there. Let's go too. While we're doing it. Arr. Yeah, why not? That'll be good. Almost held back, huh? Almost held back. I thought twice about it because miso is super salty, but I'm not going to put any salt yeah. in here. I'm just going to replace it with the miso. I think it'll kind of fit with the dish. That we're doing. So it's on. Okay, it's back. A little ginge. With the spoon tech again. Spoon tech. Brown chops. that up with the sauce as well, or what? Yeah, exactly. You got a lime in here as well? Yeah, we put a little bit of lime That's already in there. Yeah, yeah. We'll squeeze half a lime. And then we'll get that on. I think we need a Vitamix sponsor. For real? <laughs> I'll hit them up. <laughs> Those are good units. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, yeah. Looking good, looking good. It's really yummy. It is tasty, eh? Oh, it's yummy. Peanut butter, oh, ginger, good goodness. Fresh spring rolls, right? Oh, my God. Mushrooms on here. Mushrooms are looking proper. Proper mushrooms and onions. Your miso broth is looking proper, too, I'll say. It's coming. So now let's spice up this miso broth. I'm going to put a little bit of ponzu sauce in there. Beautiful. A little bit of tempura, which is pretty much soy sauce. Salty goodness. Salty deliciousness. And a this little one? bit of rice wine vinegar. Oh, rice wine vinegar. Not too much. And then a little bit of sesame oil in here. Oh, this thing's coming up. Nice dash of that. Flavor. Then there's a thing I want to add in here, and we are going to go vegan on this soup with a little bit of pea, pea powered milk. All right. Give it the creaminess, right? Mm hmm. Clean it up a little bit. Yeah. How'd the, how'd the egg mission go? Uh, good, Ray. Perfect. We're ready to go on that. So as soon as this uh, broth is up and boiling, We'll put all the parts together and we'll get it done. Beautiful. All right, making some uh, some portions. Yeah, some portions out of, of the, the noodles ramen noodles for the ramen noodle. Beautiful. I think that's like pretty good. Tasty. And what is your <laughs> statement? What is what? your what is your statement with your one white bowl? Like, <laughs> it's the white sheet. <laughs> it's a white sheet. There it is. There you go. Make sure Simon gets no. that one. Simon gets that one. Which one? Yes. And then we will do, we'll just heat these up a little bit real quick. I had already pre-fried them before, but let's just get a little extra a little bit crisp of on, on them before. And then my noodles here that are tofu noodles. Oh, the tofu noodles. For the gluten-free people out there. For the gluten-free people. Very right. considerate. We're pretty much good there. Let's do the... Uh, get the broccoli in the 
in the broth. It's boiling here. The broccoli in the broth. So that they cook in the broth and soak up all the flavor. Oh, yeah. And then we'll pour the hot broth into the cooked noodles after. Fuck yeah. And then, to be honest, I'm gonna do the bok choy in there too. Fuck it. I wouldn't be against it. Yeah. Broccoli and bok choy. It's gonna make it's more flavor. It's gonna make more flavor in the whole. It already looks whole. better, I'll be honest. There you go. It's gonna be delicious. So good. Yeah. Well, these are heating right here. How did your your spring roll mission go? It went good, eh? Let's oh, get those, let's answer. plate the spring rolls while this is cooking real quick here. This shouldn't take too long. You don't, you kind of want to keep the crisp in while oh, this is going here. I think we're done with that. Would you walk that over? Yeah. Boom. So, uh, you can put it in the fridge if you like. Time to plate Time the to spring plate rolls. the spring rolls. In every good kitchen, there's some good knives. Oh yeah, these are looking good. Yeah, this one's pretty badass too. Oh yeah. That was a good save. Son. That was a really good save because that is That's what the happens sauce. in a stoner kitchen. <laughs> these are not the tightest rolled joints <laughs> over here, Jesse. Yeah, I have yeah. to admit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dog's like, yeah, lunch. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm all about air pockets. Good flow. Good flow. These have incredible flow. <laughs> incredible flow. You could actually call these air pockets. That might be really good for you. That might be right. would be like the, the product the name if we yeah. sold them in the grocery stores. Come on, quick angle there. It's looking all nice. Oh, yeah, they're going to be so tasty. Takes three of us to. Uh, <laughs> Those are some beautiful So Jesse, cuts. when do you when do you plan on closing out uh, Toba Grown? When do you think that you're going to get a resolution? So you gotta think of law cases in three stages. Yeah. So Quebec, for example, 2019 they had their first stage. Then there was an appeal, which is stage two. Then Supreme Court is stage three. Quebec Supre Supreme Court stage three will be a year and a half from now. In Manitoba, we're gonna have our stage one court proceedings in February, March. Yeah. And then uh, roughly six to eight months after that, we'll be in the appeal court. Nice. So, all in all, for Quebec and Manitoba to start growing weed is probably a year and a half to two years away if the governments continue to fight. Really? So it's it's a long ways away before anyone's going to be able to grow their stuff at their house legally, at least. And hundreds of thousands in legal bills on and both hundreds sides. Hundreds and thousands. And on their side, it's taxpayers paying for it. Mm. Wow. And how are you raising the funds? We've been selling t-shirts, people have been buying them like crazy. It's so funny seeing them all around Winnipeg, uh, people walking into grocery stores and whatnot. We have a GoFundMe that's really bumping right now. Thank you Green Planet for your latest uh, donation. And uh, we have a big surprise for early January that I'm working on Merlin with to help really bolster our, our legal bill fund. There you go, I'm happy more, to help. More to come on that. Awesome. Well, these look amazing. Yeah, oh, these are pretty much man. ready right here. They're yeah. nice and poached and oh, full of flavor from man. this broth. Ooh! Pulling out the bok choy and the yeah. broccoli. So these are out. We'll keep these to the side and we'll start filling our bowls over there. Looks good. Oh, sweet. Dude, it looks spectacular. As it always does. <laughs> good soup on a, on a cold rainy day. Right? Who doesn't want that, right? Dude, this is on point right now, bro. Yeah, I think you're really... I, I've never cooked this for you before, Marcus? No. Oh, man, you're gonna... You're, I think you're, this is gonna be one of your, in your top dishes. This is actually thanks to my girlfriend, Kim. This is her recipe right here, actually, I have to admit. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, wow. Kim. Yeah. She makes ramen. I think she has a ramen tattoo. That's how much she loves ramen. Dude, that's, <laughs> that's ramen commitment. That's ramen commitment right there. You want to put a little bit of broccoli and a little bit of broth in each one of these? Oh, yeah. I think you're doing a fine, fine job of that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, these are going to be some good ones here. We might as well just bring these closer so that we can do this real fast. Like your style. A little type A action in there. Yeah. I just feel like we're gonna speed through this. Let's do this. 
Oof. On point. That looks amazing. It smells amazing. It does, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, so now, first step is done. Everything's going there. Let's start to build our dish. We'll start with our bok choy. Get a few little bok choys on the side there. You got tofu's going in too? Just fried tofu with some nice oil and a little salt and pepper. Sometimes it's super tasty like that. Now you got mushrooms going in? Yes. We can't have an episode without mushrooms, do we? That's true, that's true. <laughs> Seems like the right thing to do. It is. Boom. This looks awesome, dude. Now, let's get a little bit of these onions in here. Or wait, not yet. Let's get the... I forgot. These so what do you got here? sprouts a little bit earlier. Oh. Just baked in the oven? Baked in the oven with a little bit of sesame oil and sriracha. Okay, so this is all going into the ramen. All going into the ramen. Damn, bro. <laughs> this is over the top. It's really quite something. I don't know if anyone wants it, but... You guys like a little chunk of butter, I suggest, as usual goes in this ramen as well. You just put a little chunk of butter in each one. Just gives it a nice little creaminess as it melts. Just so everyone knows, this is a razor sharp knife, so I'll try not to cut myself. Yeah, try to not cut yourself, <laughs> that would suck. Take your time. Use your skill. All right, now those are all cut and in. Off with the gloves. Everything looks great. Let's put a little bit of uh, sesame seeds on here. Jesus, we just keep making it look better. This is the shallot onion. Yeah. And you can also do it, and then also just a few of these little bean sprouts in the middle. Mm. Now, some people like to fry the bean bean sprouts. I like them crunchy, so I put them in right at the end. Okay. Make the cooking go off a little bit. And there we have it, ramen soup for five oh. plus some spring rolls. Well, let's get it on the table, buddy. Let's do it. You're straight crazy! You like my Asian dishes in there? Dude, I love all your dishes. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> like, from every culture that you pulled out from, they've all been like great. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, so well, well. There's no complaints there. So yeah, we Merlin just crushed that out. The rest of us sort of stood around. You did a pretty good job, actually. I gotta give you props. Yeah, you yeah, you the spring rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay together. Yeah. I just held the camera as always, but um, always much appreciated. You provided the dad. Dude, as watching well to you create this, this. Well, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> watching you create this was inspirational. The noodles, and then the bok choy, but then like some broccoli, and then some, you know, some mushrooms, and then the tofu, and then you pulled these Brussels sprouts out of the oven, and then there's an egg going in there with sesame. <laughs> And then sprouts! Yeah. It was like a seven thing addition. Yeah, you gotta add it. That's what's good. And don't forget the butter too. Yeah. And then you finished it with the butter. See, the butter's now melting into the exactly crispy goodness. That's the idea. So, I guess as always, we will take the first few bites, let you know what we think. Let's do it. And then, uh, yeah, right. exactly. Wow. Bon well, appetit, gentlemen. I don't have six uh, chopsticks, so I got the, I got the fork. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll start with the spring roll. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of that myself, but this just looks like yeah. so good. Yeah, right yeah. Back. Okay, dog. You are mm. awesome. Mm. It's about to cook it. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I have three anymore. seconds oh before he's back. <laughs> this meal does perfectly match the weather outside. Exactly. Mm. Right? I like how the dude... What's that? Soup season's year-round. Definitely. 
you know what I mean? I like that I always push for the Sundays too with different vegetarian stuff coming up every week. Dude, this is absolutely delicious as always. Go ahead and give some love to the spring roll as well. See how it works. Right? Wow, this is mm. pretty trippy. Amazing, man. Good? Those onions mm. and those brush and sprouts. Spring roll is delicious. Very fresh, right? Mm. Very fresh. With the salty peanut butter sauce. Mm -hmm. I think people would eat more vegetables if they could make them taste like this. <laughs> So on point, it's mm -hmm. funny. Got so quiet all of a sudden. That was good. Exactly. <laughs> it's a good sign. These yeah. videos always end up quiet. Just silence. Well, I'll thank our guests for visiting uh, this week. Thank you guys for making an appearance. Hopefully, we can do another one with you sooner than later. Thank you, Braxton, Thanks, for all the entertainment. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us Thanks for my shoe, dude. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And thank Mer Thanks, uh, Merlin, as always, for uh, for cooking the delicious food and, and serving it up, as always, bro. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah absolutely, guys. Yep. Without, <laughs> without this, without this. Yeah. All right. Peace Let's out, everyone. Smash it.